Hello everyone. So here in this problem, we have to evaluate limit x tends to 0 sin x into sin inverse of x minus x square whole upon x raised to 6. Now, first of all, before solving the problem, I will assume the given limit as L. So here I will say let L equal to limit x tends to 0 sin x sin inverse of x minus x square upon x raised to 6. Now, we will substitute the given limit that is x tends to 0 and we will check whether we are getting indeterminate form or finite value. And if we are getting the indeterminate form, then we will apply the L Hopital's rule to get the finite value of the given limit. So, if I will substitute x as 0 over here, we will get sin 0 as 0, sin inverse 0 as 0, minus 0 square that is 0. So, we are getting 0 in the numerator and 0 raised to 6 is 0. So, we are getting 0 in the denominator. So, it means we are getting 0 upon 0 which is indeterminate form. So, here we can apply the L Hopital's rule. So, by L Hopital's rule, we find out the derivative of numerator and denominator separately. But my friends, if you will observe the given numerator, then here we have the terms sin x into sin inverse x. So, when you will try to find out the derivative of this term, then it we have to apply the product rule of derivative. So, the two terms here, right now we have two functions u and v. So, that will become u derivative of v plus v derivative of u. So, we are going to get the two different terms minus x square. So, that is the third term. So, it means when we will find the derivative, the number of terms will increase and hence to evaluate the limit will become complicated. So, to simplify the given limit, here I am going to use the concept of expansion of series. Now, for that, I will be using the standard formulas or the standard series of the given function. So, for here, sin x and sin inverse x, I know the series is. So, I will apply the series is and by substituting the series is, we can easily evaluate the given limit. So, for that, I will substitute the series for sin x first. So, here I will say or I will write down the series of sin x. So, we know that series of sin x is, it is odd term. So, x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x raised to 5 by 5 factorial minus so on. So, we have all the odd terms which is equal to x minus x cube by, now 3 factorial is nothing but 6 plus x raised to 5, 5 factorial is 120 minus so on. Similarly, the series for sin inverse x is x plus x cube by 6 plus 3 upon 40 x raised to 5 plus so on. So, now we will substitute these two expansions in the given function. So, here we will get therefore L as limit x tends to 0 sin x is this. So, that will become x minus x cube upon 6 plus x raised to 5 upon 120 minus so on. Now, I am restricting my series still x raised to 5 and the reason being in the denominator we have the highest power as x raised to 6. It means in the numerator I will be going till the power x raised to 6 because x raised to 6 and x raised to 6 can be cancelled and we can get the finite value of limit. And if we will take the further terms that is higher powers of x that is let us say x raised to 7, x raised to 8 or x raised to 9. Then in that case, when you will cancel it with the x raised to 6 in the denominator, then you will always get one extra x term. It means if we have x raised to 7 in the numerator and if you are cancelling it with x raised to 6, you will get extra x in the numerator. 
with x raised to 8 in the numerator you will get x square extra in the numerator after cancellation with x raised to 6 and as we have the limit x tends to 0 then all those higher powers are gonna be 0 and hence I won't consider the highest power or higher powers of x. So, I will be considering the maximum power as x raised to 6 and here in the series of sign the next power would be x raised to 7 I, and I do not want the x raised to 7 power. So, I have restricted over here. Now, let us see the sign inverse x. So, for that the series is x plus x cube upon 6 plus 3 upon 40 x raised to 5 plus so on. So, here also I am restricting the series till x raised to 5 and the last term is minus x square whole upon x raised to 6. Now, we will multiply these two brackets. So, here we will get x into x that is x square. So, therefore, L is equal to limit x tends to 0 x square next x into x cube upon 6 is x raised to 4 upon 6. So, plus x raised to 4 upon 6 x into this term is 3 upon 40 x raised to 6. So, plus 3 upon 40 x raised to 6. Now, we will multiply the second bracket with minus of x cube upon 6. So, this term into x is minus of x raised to 4 upon 6. This term into this term will be minus of x raised to 6 upon 36. Next, this into this is 3, 3 and this 6 will be cancelled here we will get 2. So, 2 into 40 that is 80. So, we will get x raised to 8 upon 80. So, minus x raised to 8 upon 80 and we do not want the powers which are higher than 6. So, I would not consider the term and hence I will just write down the dot 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 things. Next, if we will multiply this second bracket with third term then we will get x raised to 5 upon 120 into x is plus x raised to 6 upon 120. Now, if I will multiply the second and third term with x raised to 5 upon 120 then we will get power as x raised to 8 and x raised to 10 and we would not consider those terms because those are the higher powers of x. So, the last term is minus x square. So, after this we will say minus of x square upon we have x raised to 6. Now, if you will observe carefully then we can cancel this x square and minus x square then we can cancel plus x raised to 4 upon 6 minus x raised to 4 upon 6 and we will get the terms which are only x raised to 6 terms. So, by taking it together we will get we coefficient of this first term as 3 upon 40, coefficient of second term as 1 upon 36 or minus 1 upon 36 and here plus 1 upon 120 and bracket into x raised to 6 upon x raised to 6 and plus we are going to get the higher terms or powers of x and I am not going to consider those terms. So, here it is limit x tends to 0. Now, if we will divide this numerator with x raised to 6, so here we will get L as 3 upon 40 minus 1 upon 36 plus 1 upon 120 and when you will divide it with higher power when you will divide the higher powers with x raised to 6 that time you will get extra x in the numerator which will become 0 when you will substitute x as 0 in those terms. So, it means the next terms will be 0, 0 and zeros. So, after adding these three terms in the calculator we will get L as 1 upon 18. So, 
the value of given limit is 1 upon 18. Thank you.